So let's start our conversation with two box. Okay, box number one is mass number one, which is 12 kilogram, and box number two, which is mass number two, which is 10 kilogram. They are connected by a rope, and someone pulling it with 40 newton and no friction. Okay, no friction. Good. What we are trying to find over here is the acceleration. That's what we are trying to find. So we're gonna find the acceleration. How can we do that? So this is pretty simple. We first gonna do free body diagram. All right, so how can we do free body diagram? So you're gonna write, this is mass one and this is mass two. So you're gonna write box number one and we're gonna write box number two. Box number one. How many forces acting on the box number one? Since this is no friction, only one force is acting, three forces acting on the box number one. Force due to gravity. So this is M1G and this is Fn, which is equal in magnitude opposite in direction. That means y direction, acceleration is zero and that force is zero. And this is Ft. All right, so the other one, there are four forces acting on it. This is M1G, which is equal in magnitude. This is actually M2G, equal in magnitude, opposite in direction with Fn, and this is Fp, and this is, of course, Ft. Of course, at the y direction, there is no acceleration because net force is zero because they are equal in magnitude, opposite in direction. At the x direction, there is acceleration because this one is bigger than this one. So now we're gonna use Newton's second law to find the acceleration. Okay, let's do it. So we'll still have a conversation with Newton's second law, F equal ma, both side. Okay, so what are the F? How many forces acting at the X direction? I see only one, so Ft is equal to M1G, that's it. On the other hand, I see two forces acting, so Fp minus Ft is equal to M2A, of course. All right, so I have two equations, so I can do system of equation, why not? Okay, so now you see Ft is equal to M1G, and you see Fp, and then minus Ft is equal to M2, uh, this is M, not this, this is not M, M1G, this is M1A. So we're just gonna fix it, M1A, M2A, okay. So now this one cancel, so Fp is equal to M1A plus M2A. So Fp is equal to acceleration M1 plus M2. So acceleration is Fp over M1 plus M2. What does that mean? Acceleration is Fp is 40, M1 is 12, M2 is 10. So acceleration is 40 over 22, okay? So now we're gonna prove that Ft over here is equal to Ft over here. That's what we're gonna prove, and why don't we use the different color? All right, let's see. Ft is equal to M1 is 12, and A is 40 over 22. So Ft is 480 over 22. Newton, of course. And that is Ft uh, over here. Okay, Ft over here. Okay, so we're gonna prove that Ft over here is also same. So Ft, this one is 480 over 22. Now we're gonna prove that Ft over here it is also 480 over 22. Let's use the different color. Okay, just to differentiate. So what do you see? You see Fp minus M2a is equal to Ft. So Ft is 40 minus 10, 40 over 22 is equal to Ft. So 40 minus 400 over 22 is equal to Ft, 22. Uh, and this is 480. 
is equal to Ft. So yeah, that is correct. So 480 over 22 Newton. So this Ft and this Ft is... Uh, so what does that mean? That the rope, you can transfer the force through the rope and rope does not consume any tension. It just transfer the tension from one location to the other location. So in this case, you see the force get transferred from mass two to mass one. This is why when the mass two moves, mass one also moves with same acceleration, and that is 40 over 22 meter per second squared. Now we're going to consider another problem, and that problem will be a little bit more interesting than this one. Okay, so there is a box on the table. Okay, and let's say, I don't know, five kilogram, mass one is five kilogram, and th there is a pulley, and then mass two is also two kilogram, okay? What we're gonna do, let's make it more interesting by assigning some kinetic friction. So mu k is 0 0.2, so now draw a free body diagram. This is mass one, this is mass two, Mass one, four forces acting on it, M1G, Fn, Ft, and force of friction. Again, at the y direction, there is no acceleration because net force is zero. At the x direction, Ft is bigger than Ff. So then there is some forces, net forces, at the x direction to the east. Over here, there is no forces at the x direction, all the forces at the y direction. So I have M2G, I have Ft. That's it. There is no forces at the x direction. Now we're going to use Newton's second law to do the same, and that is write the equation F equal MA. So how many forces acting at the x direction? Two forces Ft minus Ff is equal to M1A. This one, again, F equal MA. You have two forces acting on the y direction, Ft minus M2G is equal to negative M2A. Why negative? 99% of the time, my student make mistake because acceleration is downward, which means it is negative. I have a system of equation. I'm gonna isolate Ft over here. So Ft would be, M1A plus FF, and I'm gonna insert the FT over here. So M1A plus FF, and I'm gonna write minus M2G is equal to minus M2A, okay? So now I'm gonna isolate A because that's what I'm looking for acceleration. So M1A plus M2A is equal to M2G minus FF. Okay, so acceleration is M1 plus M2 is equal to M2G minus FF. So acceleration is M2G minus FF over M1 plus M2. So acceleration is, we have to find M2G. So let's find M2G. M2G2 times 9.8, 2 times 9.8 is 19.6. 2 times 9.8 is 19.6. So you're going to write 19.6. FF, FF is, uh, FF is mu k Fn. So mu k is 0.2 and Fn is, M1 is uh, 5 and g is 9.8 so this is 49 5 times 9.8 is i believe 49 49 right 5 times 9.8 is 49 so this one is also 49 okay so 49.2 times 49 and that would be 9.8 9.8 so ff is 9.8 m1 is 5 m2 is 2 acceleration is 9.8 over 7 okay 
so 9.8 over 7 is how much 9.8 divided by 7 is 1.4 acceleration is 1.4 meter per second square now we're going to find ft so ft is equal to m1 is 5 acceleration is 1.4 plus ff is 9.8 so 5 times 1.4 plus 9.8. So Ft is 16.8 Newton. And this one has to be also 16.8 Newton, but we're going to verify it. Ft is equal to M2G, okay, minus M2A. So Ft is equal to M2G minus A. So M2 is 2, G is 9.8, A is 1.4. So 2, 9.8 minus 1.4 is 8.4. 8.4 times 2 is 16.8. So Ft is 16.8 Newton. So what we see that on the free body diagram we have over here, uh, we're going to use the different color ft is 16.8 newton over here and ft is also ft is also 16.8 newton hello yes hey dad yeah i wanted to ask something yeah um i i also wanted to ask about this physics question brought to you by brilliant.org Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science.